Robbie Weeds here. I just wanted to touch on um, some pesticide uh, label information. Um, some of my videos, I'm sure, can get confusing when I'm talking about uh, brand names and active ingredient names. Um, starting right here, uh, this is Zenith 2F. Um, Zenith is the brand name. 2F is the formulation. It's 2% in a flowable, or the 2 is a uh, one uh, decimal in the a lot of times that has to do with the percentage. So two would be uh, 20%, but um, I would call this imidacloprid instead of Zenith. Imidacloprid is the active ingredient. Zenith is the brand name. This is the same as Merit. Um, there's also a couple other uh, names um, that, uh, th so the brand name can change. The active ingredient is always the same. The formulation can change. The active ingredient is always the same. Same with Avalon over here. Avalon is the brand name. Bifenthrin is the active ingredient. That's why I like to use active ingredient names because Bifenthrin 7.9% is also Talstar uh, Professional. It's also Upstar Gold. Um, it's always Bifenthrin 7.9 though. So I always like to use the name Bifenthrin. Um, uh, along with uh, reading the, uh, the front side of the label, you're also gonna look on the inside, um, the inside packet. It's gonna tell you the storage procedures it's going to tell you exactly what pest it's labeled for. Um, it's going to tell you exactly where and what uh, uh, either turf or ornamental is, it's uh, safe for. Um, it's going to tell you the re-entry interval. All those very important re-entry interval, especially important if uh, people are supposed to be working in the area uh, within um, a short period of time, within a day or so, you want to check the re-entry interval and let people know. Also the EPA number, that should be very clearly, if for some reason these labels come off, you're gonna put another label with the brand name, the, uh, the active ingredient, the uh, concentration, and the EPA number. So if anybody comes upon this, this jug, they can very quickly look it up and find out exactly what's in the jug. Um, Here's another one, just real quick, Quinclorac 75 DF. It's Quinclorac 75 for 75%. DF is the formulation, it's a dry flowable. Um, and here it is spelled out very clearly. Quinclorac is the active ingredient. The brand name uh, right here, as I said before, Quinclorac 75 DF, also the same as Merit. Um, all, or not Merit, also the same as Drive 75. Um, here you can say it's 75% uh, percent, um, is the formulation. Uh, Quinclorac is also drive XLR8 accelerate. Uh, also Quinclorac, different formulation. That's a liquid formulation. So it uh, just shows that it's very important to um, know the active ingredients because the brand names change very often, but uh, the active ingredients are always the same. So uh, that's why when I call out um, active ingredients, um, instead of brand names, uh, just so uh, everybody's on the same page in case in different parts of the country they have different brands. Turflon Ester Ultra, it's a triclopier. Um, uh, this is a, an example of triclopier comes in many different uh, concentrations. This is an ester formulation um, at 60% uh, concentration, but this comes uh, mixed with, uh, it can be mixed um, and Confront, Confront is triclopier and uh, clopyralid. Um, it can be mixed in um, a couple, I think uh, Dow Agro uh, right here has a couple, uh, or G Gordon's, Gordon's has a uh, triclopier mixed in a couple of 2,4-D mixtures. So uh, ha uh, knowing that it's triclopier instead of Turfline, Garland, another brand name, same, same active ingredient. So when I say triclopier, it's because I don't want to confuse anybody with different brand names that they might not be familiar with. So very good idea to get to know the, the active ingredients. So um, to cut down on the confusion. So just wanted to touch on that. I'll have another video uh, more in depth of labels, but I just wanted to talk about active ingredients and brand names and how uh, knowing the active ingredient is very important.